World Youth Day 2013 in Rio, and we're outside of the Vocations Fair. It looks like some sort of Vocations disco party. Let's go. Every one of us has a call. No, not that kind of call. Jesus is calling each one of us to a state of life, a vocation. There's the single life, married life, and the religious life. What is your call in life? We all have a lot of questions. What's the first step? Where do I begin? Uh, the key and the most important thing is trust. To pay attention to the Holy Spirit. Well, 20 years ago, World Youth Day in Denver, I was a pilgrim like many of these young people, and I had never before thought about priesthood. And at some point during these few days, God literally called me. I didn't hear a voice, but I had that overwhelming sense in my heart that God was calling me to the ordained ministry as a priest. How can I be sure? It's, it's a feeling, actually. I felt at peace. I felt at home. Are you called to be a priest? Yes. 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 How did you react when you first received your call to religious life? Well, I tried to deny it. And the first thing I thought, because we were so crowded, was like, Lord, are you sure you didn't mean him? It was good, right there. Did you miss? Maybe not such good aim. How do you live a life of celibacy? How do you do that? Well, it's a challenge, but when it's a gift that comes from God, God will give you the strength, and you really are not thinking about, how can I do this? You're happy just living your God-given gift of celibacy. You're, you're, you're living a life of happiness and giving yourself to others. So you're, you're really not thinking about the struggles all the time, but thinking about the gift that you've received and just sharing your life and ministering to others. How do you live a life of poverty? You believe in God, that God will provide what you need. This is the best way to live. And are you happy living a life of poverty? Yes, I am very happy. Because I trust in God, I am very happy to be poor, to live the poverty. How do you live a life of obedience? Could, could, could I borrow some of your obedience? Because uh... oh, uh, we must pray, and uh, and God will give you the uh, give us our obedience. Because I am not so obedient as I must be. Uh, our Lord Jesus Christ he was obedient and obedient till the death and that's in the cross. What do you think my my vocation is? I don't know, but I know that you won't be a priest. <laughs> you you can't. You you <laughs> I imagine an old man with the glasses and that uh, talk so so No, I don't but I don't I don't Jimmy, do you have anything to say about this? <laughs> Well, Mark, I think we saw some very young religious in there and some very strong enthusiasm for the religious vocations. I mean, so you think you have to be old to be a priest? I think it's... Oh, we're, gonna, it. we're gonna rock your world. Vocation. The priests are really like quiet and prayerful. And that's not me, Lord. And you know what God said? I know, I created you. I know who you are. So I can call you. He's not calling all of you to the priesthood, not calling all of you to be a religious sister or brother, but he is calling some of you. I can say that after 25 years, I can say I am happy and contented with my life. It's one thing that I think continues to sustain me in my vocation is the joy. I start to feel this joy and this uh, happiness since the beginning. Oh yes. Truly, if I was born again, I would be a priest again a thousand times. I think that Jesus calls people from all walks of life, all ages. Yeah, it is. You know, I, I think we have a potential nun right here. <laughs> you think? 